G'day you all, it's Colin from PC TLC, and thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be having a look at MX Linux. But what I'm interested in is since I'm on the trail of uh, booting uh, distros and dual booting and so forth, I'm interested in having a look at this bit here. Uh, with this beta 1 release, we are particularly interested in testing the new UEFI live system boot menus as well as testing the installer. So what we're going to do is we're going to be focusing on the new UEFI live system boot menus. Now, I'm not quite sure what part of the live system boot menus they want to check. And uh, I'm going to try creating a persistent USB. Haven't done that before with MX Linux. I'm interested in that. So I'm sure um, as I'm going through this, um, this will also be probably naturally checking out the live system boot anyway. I'm not quite sure how many options there are in there. I'm sure being MX Linux, there's quite a few. <laughs> so I might have to um, check a couple of Dolphin's videos for this and, and make sure I'm uh, on the right track. So let's get on with that. Let's um, check out the MX Linux live boot and we'll make a persistent USB. So I'm in the desktop of MX Linux 21 beta. So I'm currently running from a USB and I put a USB in here with the MX Linux ISO on it and added it into downloads as you can see. And I've got another USB to put in here that I can write the ISO to for live desktop. So that's three USBs. I probably could have used the one that I'm writing to. I've got I've got plenty of USBs that so didn't bother me too much. All right, so I've had to, um, I've got my um, Yeti microphone plugged into one USB at the front of the uh, desktop here, and the other one is running MX Linux. So I've had to plug one into the back of the computer, which means crawling underneath the desk. <laughs> so as you can see here, I've got some videos here we're watching at Christmas time. <laughs> some good Christmas videos. So I'm gonna write over that because I don't need them on there anymore. So this is what we're going to do. Let's hide simple screen recorder. We are going to go to, uh, we could type in live USB maker here, or the other way we could do it is go to MX tools. And we got live USB maker here. Now the password is demo. authenticate that. Now you can see target USB is the SanDisk. It's a 32 gig so I'll, I'm choosing a decent one here and we need to select an ISO. So we go to downloads and that's the ISO there. Open that. We want full featured mode I believe. Writable live USB and we click next. You can click uh, you can choose to clone an existing live system, clone running live system, um, but let's just do that and uh, full featured mode and click next and off we go. Now I believe they used to have a bit of an issue with the progress bar, but that seems to be running okay. And we are in UEFI mode. I've booted in UEFI mode. And that is the live USB created successfully. Let's click OK on that. And I believe what we need to do now is we need to boot the USB and choose our options. Now this is going to be bootable under UEFI. That's what I'm going to do. Let's close that. I'm going to save my recording and probably get out the trusty Oppo phone and record some uh, booting options of MX Linux live USB. Okay, so here we are on the live boot for MX Linux 21 beta. We're going to be selecting UEFI SanDisk, which is this one here. And if you've watched my booting videos of my series, uh, you'll find that um, this is my desktop here. That would have been, this one is Legacy. That, that'll be booting SanDisk in Legacy. And this one will be booting in UEFI. So let's do that. And now what we need to do is go down to advanced options and we need to choose the persistent options 
and I think the boot options as well maybe let's check that out um, 2 RAM from USB so I believe we need to choose from USB from a live USB uh, let's escape that and persistent options is persist uh, static root which means that you'll be um, you'll be running directly from the USB and everything's saved to the USB. I think that's how it works. Uh, so let's select that one. So as you can see, that option there has been selected for persist static. Now boot options, I'm not sure if we need to do anything for boot options, but let's check that out. From USB, finish booting from a live USB. Let's go from USB, I think. And we can press escape to get back and back oh actually didn't from USB okay and then uh, let's choose back to main menu so advanced options are those I'm not sure if that from USB is correct I'm pretty sure it is so let's escape and let's boot Uh, the default size is 8 gig. Um, let's do number two, custom size, and plenty of options there. It's a 32 gig. Let's go 19 for 12. That should be okay. Home file, home files three, home file systems three gig. Uh, let's um, number two, custom that, and let's give that uh, 20, 8 gig. So number 20 for 8 gig. Uh, create a live USB swap file. The default is yes, so let's just press enter for yes. Size of swap, 12, 4 gig. And let's try that. See what happens. Okay, so we need to make a password for that, or create a new password so let's do that new password created so two new passwords created there And looks like we have booted in to our live system. Now I'm not really sure how this works, so I'm going to um, connect to the internet first. Okay, so I'd have to think that if this has persistence, then the internet should uh, still be there upon restart. So I wanna see what happens when we restart this system. First of all, I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna take out the uh, USB, so that's shut down. Because I chose uh, from USB, I'm not sure if it's going to boot from USB automatically. I want to check that out. So we'll turn on the computer. I don't know what's going to happen there, or do I have to still select it from the boot manager? I'm not sure. No, it's gone to elementary, so I still have to choose from the boot manager. So let's shut that down. And we'll start back up and press the F8 key. And we'll go to UEFI SanDisk. And I'd have to think that uh, if that's correct, I'm not quite sure what we do here. 
I think we just choose the normal MX Linux, I believe. Alright, so still running on a um, demo mode, uh, UEFI, Oh, there's a save options there. I didn't see that. Persistent static from USB save options. I didn't do that, did I? Oh, no, I don't think I needed to do that. Okay, so now we may be in... So I have to choose those same options uh, to continue to boot persistent. So I've, I haven't really tried this before, so I wasn't aware of that. Let's try the package installer. Well, actually, let's check if we got um, simple screen recorder installed. Don't think so. No, we don't. So let's try that. MX package installer. So what I've done here is I've entered my persistence password. If we're not in persistence, then it shouldn't work. So it should be demo. So hopefully this works and it does. So yes, that works. So we're on track. Uh, what I need is, uh, what do they call it here, screen, uh, screencast, that's it. OBS and simple screen recorder, let's do that, install that. And uh, the following packages were selected, click show details for list of changes, I'll just click OK on that. So that is the process of installing simple screen recorder finished. Let's click OK on that, close that. I'm going to shut this system down, restart again under persistence with hopefully simple screen recorder running and have some better quality video for you. I'll see you back in the desktop. So here we are back in the desktop of MX Linux. Now we are actually booting persistence. I've got a couple of videos here, or at least one anyway, and the one that I'm recording, this one here. I've also installed OBS. Now I'm using USB 2 on this and I've got a hub and I've tried to get the camera going, but uh, yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> Probably needs USB 3.0 to get that thing up and running. So I didn't bother with that. Tried my best, but didn't work. But as you can see, I've rebooted a couple of times or a few times already, just trying to get the um, mic working. And as you can see here, I've got OBS Studio and Simple Screen Recorder. Now, what I did also is went to MX Tools and use the codec installer to install some codecs. Wasn't sure if that was the problem with the camera or not, but it definitely wasn't. It was um, some of the audio settings, so I'm not completely used to the audio in XFCE, but I went to input devices and then I had to get uh, set this one here and the sound as well. Even though the sound was up on here for the microphone, it still wasn't working because it wasn't set in the input of the audio mixer. <laughs> so some things are trickier than others, to be honest. But that seems to be working really well, and I'm pretty happy with the persistence. And it looks to me like the UEFI is booting pretty well, and options are working as expected, for me anyway. So let's shut that down. Okay, so we are going to check out uh, function F12, we're going to boot MX Linux on the Lenovo IdeaPad 110. There we go. And Limpus Lite is the USB is legacy, Limpus Lite is U UEFI. So let's see how, how it works on that. Boot failed. Alright, so that's supposed to be UEFI and that has failed a booting. Normally SanDisk is uh, a pretty reliable USB for booting this sort of stuff. I'll try, let's try 
and boot legacy then, see what happens there. So we'll try the other option, see what we get. So we've now got the, um, the legacy boot, but we didn't get the UEFI boot. Um, now I don't know whether persistence would work because I've done it in UEFI. So does it work or doesn't it work? That's the interesting question, isn't it? Let's try that. F4 options. Um, from USB, let's try that. And F5. Got to hold the function key down for these to work. And it was persistent static. So let's try that. See what happens. I doubt whether we get anything on that. So it has found a boot device with persist. Um, now, so that works on UEFI and legacy. That's interesting. So by rights, I should have simple screen recorder on, uh, on this laptop once we boot in. But let's just check out our multimedia. We've got OBS and we've got simple screen recorder. And I should also have a file or two files, I think, under videos. No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Now, why we don't get UEFI booting, I'm not sure. So let's shut that down. This is my Toshiba satellite um, laptop. Let's go to advanced options there. And persistence options. So the it, it's working. The UEFI is working on this one. Um, so uh, what do we have? Persist persist static for that and boot options was um, from USB and let's go back to the main menu I'm not going to use escape because it doesn't work very well on this computer and let's boot MX so it's found the persistent device Okay, so here we are on the desktop of my Toshiba satellite and the videos are there um, and we should have also multimedia, OBS and simple screen recorder. So we sh do we have internet? We have internet. So that's interesting because it remembers my internet on different um, computers, which is quite interesting. So what we're going to do now is let's do a quick install of something, MX package installer. So let's uh, install um, Audacity and do that on here. And the following packages were selected. Click Show Details for List of Changes. Let's just go OK. And that process is complete. So let's close that out. There we go. And go to, um, where are we? Multimedia, Audacity. And there we have Audacity installed. So let's shut that down. Okay, so here I am on my Pop! OS on my Intel Skull Canyon NUC. So what we're going to do is shut this down and we're going to check if MX Linux is going to boot on here. So I'll put the USB in the slot and see how we go. F10 to boot this, uh, this uh, Intel NUC. And as you can see here we have, oops, wrong button, USB which is legacy and UEFI USB SanDisk. So let's boot that. And by rights, we should have Audacity um, installed in there. So let's go to Advanced Options. Persistent was Static. And Boot Options was from USB. Back to Main Menu and we shall boot. And it's found the persistent device. And there we have our MX Linux and connection established. It's pretty handy if you're running this on different computers within your own home. You don't have to continuously connect to your wireless device because it just remembers it every time. And that's pretty handy. Let's go to multimedia. We've got Audacity is still installed. Let's boot that. No problem at all. I would be interested to see whether the webcam works on this device because um, my other one, I don't know why, I think it was the USB that wasn't very good. So let's try OBS. Now the webcam appears to be working all right. Doesn't seem to be any problems with that. Let's bring my mic over here and let's um, record a little piece here. Uh, let's just make sure that 
Um, check the settings, make sure it's found my mic. Yeti stereo, yep. The webcam appears to be working. So I'll do a, a small bit of footage here. We'll start recording and we'll hide that. And then we'll have a look through the menu very quickly. Now let's do that. And um, we can add this piece in later. So multimedia, simple screen recorder, Audacity. Let's just open Audacity again while we're recording. I just want to check whether my sync is... Uh, I've been having a bit of trouble with uh, audio sync lately, I must say. And that's Audacity. So there we have it. Let's um, stop recording. And we should have a small file, probably in videos, I think. Yeah, it's probably one of those. Well, I, actually, I didn't check where I had that saving to, to be honest. It should be wherever it was before. It's probably got to be one of those videos. Um, let's just open up OBS and see where... Uh, go to Settings, Output, Home, Demo Videos. Yep, OK. So we, we will see how that works. And then we'll have a look through the menu very quickly. Now let's do that. And um, we can add this piece in later. So multimedia, simple screen recorder, Audacity. Let's just open Audacity again while we're recording. I just want to check whether my sync is... Uh, I've been having a bit of trouble with uh, audio sync lately, I must say. And that's Audacity. So there we have it. So that's another successful boot for... MX Linux uh, Persistence working quite well. Um, I haven't tried web browser or anything, but that, no doubt that'll be working fine. Shouldn't be an issue. And we have some updates pending as well. If you have a look at that, we've got updates pending there. So if you remember this green box here, and then you've got this green box here for upgrade, that's all you need to do is press the green box. I shall do that later. Let's um, shut that down. So that was a persistent uh, USB created in MX21 Beta, codenamed Wildflower. I wasn't sure how to test the UEFI live uh, menus. That was a, a bit of a test, I suppose you could say, plus also creating the persistent USB. The reason why I'd done it that way, because I wasn't sure how to exactly test the live menu so I'm sure if Dolphin wanted anything else looked at he could uh, let me know in the comments and uh, we can have a look a little bit further at menus probably probably off screen to be honest just mess around with it if he wants anything else looked at on real hardware but uh, that was um, that was an interesting little adventure I thought I'd put some um, some photos I took from the phone because the video in some instances was pretty bad quality so it's the only way I can do it hopefully one day I can get myself a screen capture device that would be good um, be better quality I'm not sure what to get what works well I just want it simple <laughs> I don't want nothing complicated so I have been looking around but haven't found nothing yet but we'll see about that anyway I hope you enjoyed looking at the MX21 beta live boot menus and also the creation of a persistent USB um, and that's uh, going to come in handy I don't know if I want to use up the whole 32 gig maybe I can use a smaller one but uh, if I can afford to hang on to that one I will maybe a 16 gig might be better uh, but we'll see how we go so hopefully that a uh, little bit of footage might help Dolphin and the team out the only issue I had was the Lenovo wouldn't boot in UEFI I'm not sure why that is um, but all the other devices that I've got around here seem to work pretty well and I have created on the desktop and also on the NUC I created it the second time to take those um, clearer pictures of the uh, file system creation so I hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it interesting and informative and thanks for watching